All right, Cycle the Frontier just came out this past week on Steam and Epic Play Store, and you're wanting the best frames possible while you're streaming. I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do, guys, is you're gonna press Escape, go to the settings here. In settings, you're gonna have this tab called Video, all right? To get the best, best latency, you're gonna wanna go full screen. Uh, for resolution, you're gonna wanna match your resolution of your monitor. Uh, make sure this is correct. Otherwise, you're going to have some like glitchiness, um, stuff like that you don't want. For DLSS, guys, you're going to want to select like either off or ultra quality. This is for RTX card members. Uh, so make sure you have this switch to either off or ultra quality. I have it set to ultra quality because I'm running a 1440p monitor and I'm also streaming. So that's going to help me with frame rates and give me the best uh, FPS possible. Make sure your max frame rate is set to whatever your monitor is set to. Uh, anything higher may look a little bit smoother. Down here under video quality options, you guys are gonna want to not click auto detect. If you're running a stream, you're gonna want to set these probably too low if you're doing a single PC stream. If your computer can handle it, I bump it up to medium and I'm having pretty much anywhere from 100 FPS to 120 FPS. It just depends if you guys are wanting more FPS, switch it to low. You can click on here, switch it to low. Otherwise, keep it at medium. These should all be fine for medium. If you're running like an RTX Super or an RTX card, you should be fine with medium. All right, now down here, we're gonna go to VSync. Make sure that's off. I have FPS on because I wanna see what kind of FPS I'm getting in game. Uh, turn DX12 off, and this is going to require like a game restart. Um, the reason to do this, it actually makes your hardware run slower. So you're going to be dropping FPS like a lot. So you're going to turn that off. Motion blur, turn it off. Enable multi-thread rendering, turn that off as well. That's going to bog down your CPU and it's like typically key to turn that off if you're streaming. Now, if you wanna try it while you are not streaming, that's up to you, it's perfectly fine. But if you're streaming on a single PC, again, turn this off, it'll give you the best possible stream and best possible FPS for your game. Um, and I have this enabled GPU crash debugging off. Next, I'm gonna show you some gameplay that you could expect from using these settings in the game. Um, over here is gonna be my specs that you can check out. These are the specs that I run on my PC when I do live streaming and show game footage. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, you'll notice here that we're hitting about 100 to 110. Sometimes we drop down to 90, it just depends on what we're rendering. But this game is well optimized for, you know, like a brand new game on Steam and Epic Store. Uh, you could expect, you know, if you have a higher GPU, probably higher frame rates, you could probably bump that up to 165 FPS. Uh, to get the max quality, the max amount of frames, uh, but still have your game look good with the settings that I have. Um, but yeah, this game is well optimized and let's go check out what it looks like in an actual, like actual game simulation, like with battles and all that kind of stuff. All right, so if you look right now, we're hitting about 100 to 120 while we're in game. Sometimes we drop to 90, but it's looking great. The quality, the textures are looking amazing. I mean, you're not gonna get, I mean, you might get a slight improvement if you drop it to lower settings and we can test that right here. So if we drop these down to lower settings, let's just say we're like, you know what? I need to do lower, lower quality. You can just click this video quality and hit lower, do all of them. And now we're getting about a little bit up in the 130s. I mean, you're gonna get a little bit like a probably like a 10% boost, 10, probably 10 FPS boost. But the game still looks pretty good. I mean, you're not gonna be able to tell. But I'm gonna switch it back to medium just to show you guys what medium looks like. And like, I mean, it's pretty smooth for me. Like 100, between 100 and 120. That's going to be good enough for me and my stream. And I also will still retain like a lot of the quality settings. 
you can tell this game is very optimized. Looks just really beautiful. I mean, if you try to push this game up to high quality, you might need a 3000 series RTX. Um, otherwise, you know, I would just leave it here at the medium quality settings. I think it perfectly, I mean, uh, I would just leave it at the medium quality settings. I think it looks perfect. I don't think you need to push My happy guy. There we go. All right, buddy. <laughs> Made me do it, man. those are the settings guys i hope you like it if you do make sure you smash a like subscribe to my channel to help me get more viewership and to spread the news about this game you guys have a great day and gobble gobble